All right, we are back for another mail day. Uh, and I say we dive right into it. For those that don't know, I purchased a bunch of mail almost a year ago now, uh, and I held it away. And it was all stuff that I thought would rise. So we're gonna, we've been slowly opening. This is actually the last of the mail. Uh, we've been slowly opening all the mail and seeing if uh, if we improve, if the, the items improved in value or if I took a hit. So let's see if any of these improved in value. Uh, and there might be a few PC grabs in, in the lot, but uh, we'll keep an eye out. And uh, I'll mention anything that wasn't a investment, but we'll skip ahead to when everything's out of the packaging here. All right, this one's ready to reveal and it is a Felix Schutz. So this is a PC grab because uh, he was on the Sea Dogs, the St. John Sea Dogs, the first year I had season tickets. So there is Felix Schutz. Uh, he went on to score a huge goal for Germany against the U.S., in uh, a World Cup, uh, uh, World Cup World Championship, uh, I'll throw that on the screen if I can remember. But it was an OT goal in Germany to beat the U.S. Pretty incredible, but yeah, German Felix Schütz, a little PC grab there for me. Uh, we'll move right along to something that might be a little more interesting to others and not just myself. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, oh, it's surrounded by base, and it looks like it's a some sort of retro card. Oh, and I'm spoiling it. And we've got a poorly packaged, really cool Steve Eiserman card, uh, but they taped up base cards to with scotch tape. Very bizarre. So those base cards are destroyed. But we've got Steve Eiserman, uh, 385 from 1984, uh, NHL rookie scoring leaders. Uh, so I'll throw up what I got that for. And then down below uh, what it's going for now. But uh, pretty neat card. And I like the retros. So I was really happy to see this. And I think I saw it at a good price. So hopefully you'll see that I, uh, I did pretty well on that one in terms of value rising. We'll jump into the third of five packages here. And let's see what we've got here. It is, hey, there is Phil Maillet, uh Young Guns. So this is another PC pickup. But uh, Phil Maillet, I'm actually working on his... Um, I'm working on his rainbow, and I'm getting pretty close, I won't lie, but uh, Phil Maillet is a youth sports player, and, oh, for a second, uh, you wouldn't believe I was, I went silent there, for a second, I thought it was cardboard, like, it just, it feels funny, but it's just the, it's just the top loader, but uh, it is a real card, I, I was really confused there for a second, uh, but yeah, Phil Maillet, 486, uh, Young Guns, but he played, uh, with, in U Sports with a team called the UNB Varsity Reds, and he did quite well with them, uh, and he's in, he made it to the show and got his own Young Guns card, but, uh, his stuff is pretty low value because he went, to, he went back, to, or he went to Russia this year, uh, not, he's not, people aren't very familiar with him, but, uh, he, uh, it's special to me, so I'm gonna try and complete his rainbow, and when I do, I will highlight that. But uh, you'll see, if we keep doing some mail days, you'll see some more of his stuff coming in uh, that helps complete that Young Guns rainbow. All right, package number four. We've got, looks like a bunch of ice premieres. So uh, the back one here is Josh Mahura, who I think is very underrated uh, on the, the blue line for, for uh, Anaheim. But it uh, looks like we've got a crop in here, a bunch of uh, ice premieres. And I suspect there was one or two that I saw that in this lot that I really liked. So we've got Austin Wagner, Mikhail Vorbiev, Brett Senny, Dylan DeMello, Blake or Drake Kajula, and Jogen, jo Jonas Ziegenthaler, who who I think is is decent. So a few okay names in there, but I'm a big fan of Ice Premier, so hopefully we see the uh, these guys. Uh, improve on the score sheets and maybe these will gain in value but i'll show, throw up what i what i bought these for as a lot and if any of these sell individually i'll make sure while i was going through them that their their values were put up on the side that's a lot of ice premieres a series or yeah ser well you know a card that i quite enjoy uh the the acetates of uh some rookies and numbered acetates uh, so we've got some well-packaged cards in this last one, and let's see. I'll skip ahead to getting them all out. All right, so I th I'll throw up what I got these for up top, but I'm guessing it was two uh, two lots of uh, for a total of four young guns. We got Ty Delandria young guns, uh, who hasn't had quite the best start to this season, but still some high hopes for him. He had some good years in the OHL. 
Uh, just take a look at the back there, yeah. Uh, and then we've got Joel Kiviranta, who had a big playoffs with Dallas in the bubble of a couple seasons ago, uh, but hasn't done much since, so we'll hope that he kind of refines that scoring touch. Uh, but behind that, we got Alex Belzeal on the Montreal Canadiens, who's kind of been quiet, and uh, but that's fine. And then Jake Evans, who I think is going to be a player in this league. So, uh, oh, and it's a Jean Lou of uh, of Jake Evans. Just make sure there's no other Jean Lou's here. Uh, nope. But the, yeah, there's Jake Evans, Jean Lou, French variation of a Montreal Canadian. Always cool. Uh, but Jake Evans, I have high hopes for him. Hopefully he recovers okay from that nasty hit from Mark Shifley on that empty net goal. But he's a guy who uh, who I think could really improve. So you'll see all the values on the screen. Uh, and I think I did quite well on this lot. So uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll, I like to throw up uh, for the ones that weren't uh, weren't PC grabs. So I'm going to leave out my A and shoots because they were just for my PC. But everything else, I'll throw up uh, the total over here of what it cost me. And then uh, total over here of the value of, uh, of those cards now. And then hopefully a nice green percentage of uh, the improvement on, uh, on the value there. But thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, uh, well, actually, first of all, please like if, uh, if you did enjoy this. It helps me out. And then subscribe if you, if you do enjoy content like this, because we're going to try and bring it a lot more frequently. Uh, so now, as always, thanks for tuning in and take care.